the highest repeat factors in the cruise industry at the deluxe and upward category. So we're very honored by all of that. Thank you, tech team, I appreciate that. So please, if you'll allow me, I have about 30 minutes to share with you the full story of Azamar, or at least a highlighted version, if you will. And we simply say it's a new way to see the world. If you are looking for a cruise vacation, I don't think I'm going to satisfy your interest because our guests are traveling the world, not simply cruise vacation. We are floating hotels. We have three of them, and I refer to them as hotels rather than ships because we operate more like a boutique hotel than your traditional cruise ship. When you think of my big sisters, Royal Caribbean, for example, they have the largest passenger cruise ships in the world, and they are phenomenal. They are floating resorts. And in fact, you probably maybe even ask yourself, well, I'm not going to get off the ship today in this destination because it really doesn't interest me. It's what's happening on the ship, why I've chosen to travel with Royal Caribbean. With celebrity, it's probably a pretty much of a mix between how much time you actually spend going into the destinations versus how much enjoyment you have on your floating ship hotel. Azamar is a boutique cruise line that does something, again, that no one was doing 11 years ago, and now we're being imitated, and that's just fine. But what we simply do is we stay longer in the ports of call, in the areas of the world, because our guests have chosen to travel to that part of the world. And they chose us as a floating boutique hotel versus doing a land travel, because we're more convenient. We're so comfortable. We're so reasonably priced. We represent exceptional value proposition. And none of the worry. Somebody else is doing the driving, right? No flights, no hotel changes, no train, no buses. It's just easy travel to immerse yourself into the country, pardon me, the destination you've chosen to explore next. So as we say, Destination immersion, that is actually our brand trademark. It's what we've been focused on from day one. Not cruise vacationing, but destination travel immersion. And what we are simply doing is we are connecting people to people. People, yourselves, to the culture of those people. And therefore, reconnecting ourselves with ourselves and our loved ones because we gain a new perspective on life when we travel and truly learn something of other cultures and meet other people. It enriches our lives. And that's been Larry's passion and his direction, his purpose, if you will, in creating Azamar. And now, 11 years later, with three ships, this is all that we do. So longer stays in port after 8 p.m., that's the technical definition that we gave to our claim of that we stay longer. So a longer port, we very often arrive at 7 or 11, pardon me, 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, and we're not sailing away until 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., there's the occasional midnight. Our guests are enjoying 12 to 16 hours in that one destination. Now, you might ask yourself, well, I can't go nonstop for 16 hours, Jan. <laughs> I would be exhausted. Understood. I have just completed, it was a personal vacation, I was traveling with my sister-in-law, and we just did a 14-night circumnavigation, country-intensive Japan voyage. Now, we could never have afforded it, because I, I looked at it, of course, my sister-in-law always challenges me. We looked at how we could have possibly visited all four islands, completely circumnavigated the island in 14 days, and there was just no way to do it. Flights, hotels, buses, bullet train. Didn't matter how we looked at it, there was no way to accomplish what this itinerary offered us. And the flexibility of being able to say, today I'm only going to do one experience. I'm going to do one short excursion with Azamar, and it's going to be a five hour experience. We're going to create washi paper, we're going to have an authentic Japanese lunch, and we're going to taste some sake that day, and then we're going to come back on board probably have some lunch, maybe a nap. 
Maybe it's dinner time, but we're going back in to the destination for the next four or five hours until the ship sails away at 11 o'clock at night. Because there's a daytime culture in every destination around the world, and there's a nighttime culture. And when you can enrich your life by connecting and experiencing both, trust me, it will change the perspective you have. So it was absolutely perfect, and overnight, this is something we've been doing since day one, there are ports of call around the world for where it's not only just one overnight, but it could be two or even three consecutive nights. One of the ways I help to define that for our guests is that the larger, the more marquee the port of call is, the more time you need to connect and experience it. And having six to seven or eight hours in Tokyo just doesn't cut it. You may have to do it that way if you're with a different cruise line, but it's not how we travel because we're there to immerse you in the culture, immerse you in the destination. So overnighting in Tokyo was a natural, of course, and that allowed us again at night to go into the cocktail lounges, which is a part of their culture, and have a cocktail and experience it and see the locals coming and going. It was really interesting. It also means that night touring and, and going into the cocktail bars, if you will, in the evening after the work hour was a part of that experience in that particular example. But wherever you are in the world, this is such a comfortable way to travel and really have the opportunity to experience the place you've chosen to travel to. And in many cases, when your bucket list starts to get a little more exotic, you're investing a tremendous amount in traveling long distances you're probably doing it for a minimum of 10 to 14, maybe even longer. Maybe you're considering a land experience along with the voyage. You want to do it right. So this is what Azamar has been doing. And I'm going to talk to you about the land and sea packages towards the end of my presentation because it's something we just recently announced and are now doing. So just to sum it up for you again, the difference between Azamar and every other cruise line is really the percentage of time that you will spend in the destination you've chosen to experience. So in 2019, if you will, um, of our ports of call around the world, for which 375 are unique to us, that means other cruise lines, their vessels are too big. They can't explore this part of the world or that particular port of call. We sail up several rivers around the world because we simply can. And because if I use Bangkok as an example for you, if you're on my sister brands, I get to pick on them. Celebrity or Royal, and you're visiting Bangkok, your ship docks on the coastline. It has to. Mm -hmm. And my friends, if no one's ever shared this with you, you have a two and a half to three hour bus ride, and these are not deluxe motor coaches, to reach the city limits of Bangkok. Then you have to make your way through the traffic of Bangkok, and all depending on what time of day that happens. And then you're going to have your four hour short excursion and my friends, now it's you've invested seven hours of your day, plus getting up an hour early to have breakfast. You're back on a bus for two and a half to three hours because your ship is docked out because it's been on the coastline. My Azamar guest would stand here and look at you and go, uh-uh, because the Azamar vessel will have sailed up the river, two hours up the river to dock downtown Bay and to stay, bless you, and to stay for two consecutive nights. Our guests are walking off the ship, out the front door of their hotel, which never closes, of course, while we're there. And they're 20 minutes from the floating gardens, walking. This is the difference. So as you can see, our late nights, this is how many of those never leaving before 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., and the overnights. And you can see that we just continue to continue to do this because this is who we are. And we will never change our focus. And I'm gonna take one more boastful moment because I know many of you may have cruised with some of these beautiful lines. These are beautiful, there's a river brand up there. They tend to be in the deluxe and slightly higher category, luxury category. But these are the ones that are emulating because they realize this is really very attractive to consumers who are looking to travel, to well-traveled individuals. But sorry, we sit at the top because it is who we are, I'm not just saying it's what we do. So our guests again, um, I was talking to a lovely lady, I'm looking around, I don't see her in the room, but she was just chatting with me and she said, you know, I've sailed with some of the luxury brands and she said, but I keep coming home to Azamara. And I said, well, help me articulate that. And she says, it's simple. 
The atmosphere is warm, sincere, and extremely friendly. So for some of my newest, longest, or not longest necessarily, but my newest, most enriching friendships have all come from my voyages with Azamara. And I thought, isn't that lovely? Because typically our clientele is the baby boomer generation. I would say our median age today is 63. Um, our guests, I've lost the presentation. Darlings, I've lost the presentation. Um, our guests, uh, again, are the baby boomer generation. And uh, so there's a lot of retirees that cruise with us regularly. And uh, they just enjoy that more relaxed atmosphere. It's still five-star rated. It's in that deluxe category but it doesn't have a pretentious attitude, doesn't have a formal atmosphere, there's no formal attire required at all. Ladies, leave the diamonds and the heels at home, please. Um, it's just a very relaxed environment. So having said that, what we have been doing for the last couple of years is that we've been really paying attention to our guests and asking them, what's on your bucket list? Where would you like to travel to? And sometimes they'll provide us with two and three bucket lists of destinations because they're thinking, well, this year I'd like to go here, next year, and the next year. So we often think long term in terms of a two or three year plan. And it doesn't really matter when you go because maybe you'll change your mind based on exactly when that itinerary is being offered. But having said that, what we have always done is we focused in on the countries and we now have what you'll see in my brochure as country intensive itineraries. So there are dozens of these countries around the globe for which the itinerary is completely dedicated to that country, with the exception of one port of call, because by law, we must leave that country, visit one international country, and then continue on. Thank you very much. Um, and then continue on. Uh, so, we call those country intensive itineraries. Uh, I'm gonna come to this in just one moment. And, um, in Japan, for example, 14-night circumnavigation of Japan, Korea, South Korea, was our port of call. And it's actually where we held our as amazing evening. So I'm gonna step back just for one second, just because I lost my train there, but I just wanna share with you something called the as amazing evening. We are all inclusive, on board for our guests, and I will articulate that to make sure that we have an understanding. Uh, but one of the inclusions that we have always done is what's called the As Amazing Evenings. And again, our brand trademark is Destination Immersion. So I hope you will look forward to your voyage with us because if it's seven nights or longer in length, one evening during the voyage, we will invite all 700 guests to come ashore into the destination with us. We will be taking our guests to some iconic and or historic venue. And then for approximately an hour and a half to two hours maximum, the local people will entertain us to share some aspect of their culture with us. This is not a North American show that you're going to see. This is the local people presenting to us to share their culture with us. They're magical, they're all over the world, and each and every one is uniquely different to the destination and exclusive to the Azamara guests. We have in, I could go on and on, in, in South Korea, um, we were at the Performing Arts Center. It would be the equivalent of, say, Roy Thompson Hall, if you will, if you're from Toronto. Um, and beautiful outdoor patio area, weather was gorgeous, had cocktails, we were allowed to put on the traditional dress and pictures and just had fun for about a half an hour as all the guests arrived. And then we were seated in this spectacular performing arts uh, center and for over an hour and 15 minutes, it was a live dance performance, if you will, everything from the drummers to the karate to the uh, traditional dance, it was absolutely spectacular. And we were back home in two and a half hours. It's a lovely evening, and again, always about destination immersion, and that is complimentary to our guests on Azamar. So we call those, again, the As Amazing Evenings. These are the three tenor singers. Uh, we do this in, uh, very often we do this in Laverno, the port for Florence, Pisa, Tuscany, if you will. Um, and so, again, they take place all over the world. So the country intensive, what I'd like to do, I'm just going to try and speed through a few slides because they're visual. I'm not going to take you through each one, but it's flashing up. You can see the various countries. 
So if any of these destinations are on your bucket list, I hope you'll take the time to look at the itineraries and consider it. So just to have a look at what we really mean by country intensive, if you've ever desired to go to Norway, if you've done Alaska and you loved the mountains and the fjords and the glaciers, there are two other destinations in the world you should definitely visit, Norway and the Chilean fjords. We do both, of course. But this is spectacular, but Spitzenbergen, that's, that's expedition ships that go up there. You know, Asimar goes as well. So totally unique itineraries. No one else does that except unless you happen to be on an expedition class ship. Ireland, anybody from Ireland need to go back and touch your roots at all? Um, absolutely fantastic. And you can see the number of nights, how many late nights and how many overnights are included in the voyage. Greece, you couldn't find the way. Ferry, planes, um, private boat transfers, changing hotels. You couldn't do this on your own without exhausting yourself. Um, so why not let Azamara be the one to take you to the small, intimate Greek Isles that most people don't ever get to experience. Now, if you're a golfer, any golfers in the room? Yes. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Just a quick note that we are in a partnership and have been for 11 years with, with Perry Golf, one of the leading golf companies in the world. They do golf programs all over the world. And we hooked up 11 years ago and said, we have cruises all over the world. Why don't we offer golfing on some of these itineraries around the world. So every year we have about a dozen different itineraries for which you will play golf if you wish, buy the Perry Golf Package, and maybe your spouse doesn't golf, so guess what? She or he is having a fabulous time while you're all playing the game for five hours. <laughs> so we have these things, we do the British Open every year, including we're almost sold out on the 150th anniversary at St. Andrews in 2021, but every year we do the, Perry, the um, British Open. So back to the country intensives, um, Tokyo to, to Singapore, that's a little bit of a twist on country intensive because it's more than just one as you can see, but 17 nights, five late nights, two overnights. South Africa, we're so excited, this is a new part of the world for us in this, uh, now that we have our third ship. So um, in and out of Cape Town makes it extremely simple for you in terms of flying and, and getting yourself there. And we have packaged, partnered with Mikado Safaris, the oldest safari company in Africa. It's Dennis Mikado's family. Um, and they have curated two packages for Azamar exclusively. They're both five nights. They're both operated pre or post of your beautiful voyage. And one package takes you into Kruger National Park, so safari and, and uh, wine country. Um, just uh, outside of Cape Town, if you will. The other package takes you to Victoria Falls and the other game safari. So you have your choice, and again, it's all done seamlessly through Azamara and Mikado Safaris for you. So lots of ways. Um, ever wanted to do Carnival? <laughs> Couldn't be easier. It's a very intimidating experience if you're trying to do it on your own, so why not do it with us? We have some tremendous opportunities. If you haven't made plans and you have the freedom to travel when you wish, um, if you're free December, January, February, or March, early March of this coming year, we have some fantastic South America offers, so if you're interested, please let me know. Having said that, uh, again, there's another spectacular opportunity to sail around the Horn. I did this with my family a year ago. Um, everything is spectacular, Falkland Islands. This is from Lima, Peru, so we have the opportunity to leave the vessel for one to two nights and go into the Atacama Desert. Um, very unique. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Punta Arenas, a um, great place to see the penguins because you may or may not make it to the Falkland Islands. You never know. <laughs> Mother Nature plays that game. Uh, but incredible opportunity for you. Grand voyages. The one thing I have yet to mention is that if you imagine three hotels, each of them in their own way is going around the world every year. And for each of the hotels, each of the voyages is linked to the next one. So intimately hugging the coastlines in one continual chain. So our guests are often sailing with us for two or three or five or 10 voyages back to back to back because of the geography 
that those voyages will cover. So we have packaged some of the ones that we think are probably of most common interest. And they're just suggestions because you can do any combination of back-to-back -back that you wish. Um, and in our grand voyages, I have the flyer at my table, there is a minimum 21 nights, so that would be two voyages back-to-back, -back, 35 nights, 54 nights, all kinds of numbers in between, to the longest one that we've packaged at 124 nights. So when people ask me, does Azamar do world cruises? Yes, I do three a year because I have three ships going around the world. Each goes its own direction, its own way, but it's a pretty much a circumnavigation. So grand voyages are a lot of fun, and of course they have value proposition built into it. Um, if I may take just a minute to articulate what is included when you're traveling with Azamar, what are, where is the value proposition? Uh, for all guests, inclusive amenities, the As Amazing Evening, um, select standard spirits, international beers, wines, Gratuities, bottled water, soft drinks, specialty coffees, teas, all inclusive. Oh, the next one, gentlemen, we put that there for you. Self serve laundry? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. Whoever, you'll love it, ladies. <laughs> Self serve laundry, it's you know, on deck seven, it's not down in the bowels, they're high efficiency stacking units. Great place to go and just take care of the basics. All good. The cord laundry? <laughs> No, it's, it's self-serve, it's, it's totally complimentary. No coin, no coin. Uh, shuttle service to and from poor communities. There are times, if I can use Tokyo again as a most recent example for myself, huge city, many different neighborhoods in Tokyo. Um, and you really cannot just walk off the vessel, you could, but at this moment you're walking off into the new reclaimed land of Newport, where they're building all the accommodations for the um, Olympic teams, of course, in 2020. So you really are not going to just walk off the vessel. There are hundreds of ports around the world where you are docked downtown, and you will walk or in the village, and you will walk off and explore as you wish. But if there's a bit of a distance, Asmara provides a complimentary shuttle service. So we used it one day, it was 20 minutes into the Genza area, which is the high-end shopping area in downtown Tokyo. And it just runs nonstop, every half hour, back and forth, come and go as you wish. So we include that concierge, but of course, we're a five-star boutique hotel. Now, if you're interested in upgrading your accommodation, we have a new category that starts in 2020. It's called Veranda Plus. It's kind of halfway between a standard veranda or an ocean view or an interior and the inclusions and being a suite guest, which has absolutely lovely amenities and inclusions. So it's kind of that halfway, if you will, that bridge between. So Veranda Plus guests have some complimentary internet minutes. They have, and I'm sorry, because I can't do this off the top of my head anymore. Um, they have uh, oh, some free laundry. Somebody else will do your laundry for you. They have complimentary dining. We have two specialty restaurants on board. And it's one evening of complimentary dining based on two people, of course, for every seven nights. So if you're on a 14 night, you'll have two complimentary evenings. You need to go to both restaurants. Uh, if you're a sweet guest, the complimentary, the specialty restaurants are complimentary to you throughout the entire voyage. If you're like myself and you're traveling in a veranda or an ocean view or an interior, it's thirty dollars per person to have a, a specialty dining experience. So, um, but you can see the value built into it. So we do all these wonderful things, and then as you can see, the list for our suite accommodations. We have four categories of suites on each of the three ships. The ships are identical, by the way. Oh, has an amazing evening. Again, inclusive and totally unique, bespoke to Asimara's guests. So at the end of the day, who is Asimara? Very simply put, it's the only cruise line who is 100% dedicated to traveling the world with its guests, staying longer, doing more overnights, and giving our guests the enrichment of both cultures, daytime and nighttime. Very quickly, I'd like to just flash through some, just so you can see what these little boutique hotels look like. If you like the new shiny, you know, glitz and glamour and, and just, you know, chic look of a brand new celebrity ship, that's not Azamara. We're a world-class European boutique hotel that's about 30 years old. They're well-kept, as you can see. They're beautiful, but they're charming. 
So this is the warmth of atmosphere that we have. We have multiple dining venues, open seating always in our main dining room, which is known as Discoveries. We have everything from patio to the prime sea to the aquilina to the outside deck in the Windows Cafe. Lots of ways to dine. Photographs, all of our ships were all within the last year and a half. Actually, the journey is going in in November, so she's about a year away from her full renovation. They've all been renovated. They all look like this, but they all get refreshed, of course, about every year and a half or so. But they're beautiful and sweet. And as so many of our guests will tell us, the voyage was beautiful. The itinerary attracted me from day one, the long stays, the overnights, everything that we knew we were going to get. But this is the reason we keep coming back. And that's pretty humbling um, because as Larry said to me one day, he said, I can teach anyone hospitality skills, but I cannot give them a personality. He said, and if our guests compliment us by saying we're one of the warmest, most friendly, sincere atmospheres and the friendships that are made because we are constantly interacting with our guests. We are not shy. We have traveled the world. When's the last time you met your stateroom attendant and they had recently, in the last 12 months, gone around the world? It's not the kind of world that most cruise line employees live in. So ours are extremely well-educated, extremely well-traveled, and just wonderful human beings to share their time and, and their stories with you. So, but we have recently evolved. We launched this cruise line as Azamar Club Cruises because we were focused on the voyage and the inclusions and being a club member of well-traveled individuals. We have dropped the club cruises because we have recently announced that we have had partnerships all over the world for many years, but that it was the opportunity to be able to provide our guests, because again, we have such a high repeat factor of guests coming back to us all the time, that in many of the destinations around the world, there's some incredible land-based destination within that destination that simply cannot be reached during your voyage because, of course, we're on the coastline. And some of these land destinations are, you know, three-hour, four-hour flight away from the coastline. So we simply have partnered with some of the finest companies in the world. Whoops, I apologize. I thought I had a... Oh, there we go. I just put it out of order. I'm sorry. Um, these companies that are world-renowned, and they are experts in their parts of the world. And so we have partnered with them to create exclusive land experiences that our guests can now add on to their voyage. So if I use the Mikado example again, two different packages, both five nights in length. They include Safari and or Victoria Falls and or the uh, wine region, for example. Um, when you're going into Peru with Kotor, it's Machu Picchu, or it's going into the Atacama Desert, or it's going to Iguazu Falls from the other coastline, from Brazil, if you will. Whatever it is uniquely offered around the world, the Belmont. Anyone uh, a romantic and loves train travel? Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Uh, the Belmont is the company, its sister company, if you will, is the Venice Cyclone Orient Express train. And so we have a train travel package that's three nights in total. You actually sleep on the train, totally six star. Bring the diamonds, bring the heels, bring the tux gents, um, because it's the authentic train experience. So we have all these incredible packages around the world that you can now add to your Azamara voyage. And it was really came from Larry's heart again, where he said, our guests are traveling to all corners of the world, and there are these amazing experiences. When you're in Sydney, Australia, or, or, or on our voyage throughout Sydney, if you will, um, you know, Ayers Rock, you cannot get to that in a short excursion. It has to be a separate trip. Um, Mumbai, to, to um, and why have just gone blank, uh, you know, to the temple. Um, you, you, there's so many places in the world. Sleeping in a Bedouin community in the middle of the Arabian desert in a Louis Vuitton tent, but oh well. Um, staying with the local residents of this uh, Bedouin community in the middle of the desert. These are all land-based experiences that we have now 
curated with our partnerships to offer to our guests. So ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm at the end. Thank you so much. So really, uh, I can talk to you more about that at the table, or of course your Expedia Cruise Ship Center's consultant can articulate this for you in a great deal more detail than I have. Um, but we hope that wherever you may travel next, that you would give us a consideration and we would therefore welcome you home, as we say. So a safe and wonderful bon voyage to each and every one of you always, wherever those may take you. I think we have some door prizes. Thank you, Janet.